So a couple of years ago, we were, in, I and some colleagues were invited to Greece to, uh, to put on a conference about, uh, about this. And uh, I was uh, newly married at, at the time, and my wife went along with me. My wife happens to run uh, a training organization for a bank. And, and she, you know, she kind of knew that I did this transfer of learning stuff, but she hadn't really taken a close look at it. Um, and she went with me on the trip, and she sat through the conference. And we, we, we got the, and when we got done, she looked at me and she said, well, you know, I mean, that's really great stuff that you have this diagnostic tool, but I need answers. I need solutions. I need you to tell me how to fix it. Well, you know, that really kind of stood me up straight and said, uh, yeah, you know, you're right. That the LTSI is wonderful. It's great to have a diagnostic tool. But boy, if we're going to move the needle, if we're going to impact that 10 to 30 percent, we're going to have to go to a new level. So, next slide, please. Um, so my colleagues and I really kind of stepped back and started to, to, to really ponder this question that, that we've been so busy doing these studies that, that you know, we haven't really rethought these questions. And, and, and really challenged ourselves to say, why hasn't this problem improved much? I mean, I mean, you know, after 30 years, you would usually expect some improvement. But yet, you know, why are we still struggling so much with transfer? I mean, Mary Broad wrote a book in 1992 with all kinds of good tips about how to improve the transfer system. Um, but, the, but we're still at 10 to 30 percent. And, and, it, and it really began to bother us, and we said, why can't we do better? And as I argued at the beginning of this talk, we fundamentally have to do better, I believe. Um, so, next slide, please. So we really challenged ourselves to rethink transfer of training and transfer of learning from the bottom up to, to rethink it kind of, you know, uh, we like to look at the old literature, but we pull ourselves away from it and, and try to rethink it and, and say, um, what can we do that would be radically new, innovative, to maybe really uh, find the solution. And, and we challenged ourselves to move beyond these, these principles that, that folks, I'm going, to I'm going to tell you, you could go to any training conference over the years, and there's always sessions where people are promoting these principles and, and suggestions for how to improve transfer. But they're not, they're not making a difference. So we wanted to move beyond that to create a, a systematic process and a toolkit that would really drive change in organizations. And one of the things that we did was to try to think about what and have the training organizations been able to do anything about. And we really, we came up with, with three basic reasons. One is they don't have the expertise to do it uh, in any instances. Uh, number two, they don't really have the time uh, because some of the, the suggestions on how to improve transfer are very time consuming. And third, they don't have the money to, to hire people to do it. So we knew we had whatever we came up with had to be easy to use and it had to be inexpensive. Now that's a challenge because, you know, this stuff can be complex. Um, 
Next slide, please. And the result of this effort, we decided to, to take um, our, our LTSI and use that as, as the core for, uh, and, and integrate that with technology to use a, a web-based software as a service um, uh, system to automate, simplify, and facilitate the process of improving learning transfer in organizations. You know, that's the kind of crazy stuff that professors do. You know, <laughs> you know we, we come up with these wacky, kind of wacky ideas like this, but in fact, um, and we, we wanted to build this system that was evidence-based, which means it's based in, in research, but it was designed for practice. And what you see here, if, if you notice, um, that, that this process that we talk about of going from theory to research to practice, is very much alive in this journey. We have, you know, we here, uh, I have my colleagues, we, we, we have a deep, deep passion for research, but we have an equally deep passion for improving practice. Um, and, and so this is, is kind of the, the, a classic example of that, that process of theory driving research and then research driving practice. Uh, next slide. 